Hi, this is a review of the web development bootstrap course from Cold Steel. Cold Steel is Udemy's most wanted instructor for code beginners. The course was released in 2015 but is still one of the best rated and purchased on Udemy. My name is Jana. I'm a web developer for 20 years now. I also do Udemy courses. And many students, online and offline, say I've helped them a lot. Each month I take a few students, I help one-on-one. -on -one. You could be one of them. You could have me take you by the hand and help you make the first steps and help you navigate through millions of resources. You could reach your goal faster. To talk to me in person, we can set up a short call. Click the link below and see available appointments. We'll have a 15-minute call where you will tell me what you struggle with and I will tell you how I can help. So what is it about Cold Steel and his course? What are the pros and the cons of taking his bootstrap course? First of all, I want to get something straight. No matter what bootstrap course you take, you will not have all the knowledge of web development. After every bootcamp, you will need to learn a whole more. But what a bootcamp will give you is this. Well, if it is a good bootcamp anyway. In a bootcamp, you will get an introduction to many topics a web developer needs. A good bootcamp will inspire you to dig deeper. You might get excited about front-end or back-end. You will see how it goes. And a good bootcamp will help you create a few representative projects for job hunting. Do not expect each topic to be in-depth. Only JavaScript can be taught in the length of this course. But do not get discouraged. Is it not great that you can get such an introduction in only 52 hours? That is super fast. So let's review what the course course has for you. Like any other bootcamp course, it will teach you about HTML, CSS. CSS will not go in depth. It will not talk about Flixbox and Grid. Flixbox will be covered in the bootstrap section. So Flixbox as a part of bootstrap. Then he will dive into JavaScript basics. Everything from variables, operators, loops, functions, arrays, and objects. Each topic has a set of exercises you can do. Exercises are nicely done, and they teach you just as much so you gain confidence. And they give you a little challenge. You will proceed with DOM and DOM manipulation. So manipulation of elements on the page. You'll do events, toggle, count elements, and so on. To practice what you've learned, you'll do a color game app. jQuery is used in most of the bootcamp courses. jQuery is losing popularity. You see it less and less in real-world software companies. I would much rather see an introduction to one of the front-end frameworks like Angular or Vue. Or an introduction to React, that is a library most often used in front-end web development. Still, knowing how jQuery works can be beneficial and making sample apps make it super fun to learn. And then Cold goes into backend. He uses Cloud9, which speeds up things. You start with learning basic command line commands. Again, each section is more like an introduction. Do not expect one bootcamp to make you the master of all trades. What you need to learn is how to solve problems, how to search for a solution. That is what you'll be doing as a web developer. For the backend language, Colt uses Node.js. Node.js is a logical choice since we have been using JavaScript on the frontend. And Node.js is a backend JavaScript. For the complete frontend and backend learning path, you can check out the article below. Node is a great start. Node is used in Uber, Netflix, Medium, Twitter, Reddit, and so on. But is almost the same with Python. You cannot go wrong by picking these two languages to start with. Cole teaches about the basics of Node, NPM, and gives an introduction to the Express framework. He also teaches AGS templating and that is not used as much anymore. But he teaches RESTful APIs that are a must-know for web developers. In the course, you'll go through the process of building an application, the Yelp Camp. That is a nice way to learn, to see how it all fits together. In the database section, he goes straight to NoSQL databases. So, NoSQL databases and straight to NoSQL databases. 
He does not explain about types of databases and why and when would you use any of them. Well, he explains SQL in five minutes. I would need more about SQL databases. Five minutes and no practical work is not good at all. He rushes to know SQL MongoDB. Then he goes into RESTful APIs again and you create a sample API for the block. As a backend developer, you will soon or later be working on some sort of an API, so this is a must learn topic. And he goes a little deeper with MongoDB. And you practice by doing page comments. What most apps have and need are authentication and authorization. As a backend developer, you need to know the difference between authentication and authorization. And you need to know how to implement them. And then comes a bit of code cleaning. This is what you'll be doing a lot, optimizing and refactoring your code. And you will very likely be using Git and optionally GitHub. I cannot imagine being a web developer without versioning system like Git. I used to live in those times, and reverting your code was super complicated back then. At the end, Colt will teach you about deploying. You'll be using Heroku for hosting. And he'll add a little bonus, that is ES6. Well, in my opinion, ES6 should be mentioned before. It was added to the course later. And it is not even taught by him. Also, at least a basic introduction to React would be nice. But still, this course is packed with knowledge, and the instructor is easy to follow, fun, and shows enthusiasm. He makes a lot of difficult topics seem easy to understand. I also like how Colt also shows his students how to find information, which is perfect. It would be impossible to teach everything. And as a web developer, you'll need to be more independent. Some of you may not like to go on YouTube or other resources throughout the course. In reality, you'll be Googling, searching YouTube and Stack Overflow and documentation and tutorials a lot in your coding career. After taking this course, you will feel more confident in coding and you will be able to apply what you've learned to make your own websites and applications. The course will give you a nice overview. It is a must if you have no idea of web development. Lectures are well structured and engaging. And one more thing, when you are learning to code, it is good to have some help. When you are stuck, it is good to get help ASAP. Colt has teaching assistants helping him. They are super responsive and helpful. This course has a great Q&A community that helps you in every single challenge you face. The course also uses the Discord app. The app allows students to connect and see Q&A. His teaching assistants monitor Discord and provide supplemental materials. The first part of the course, the front-end part, was more step-by-step -step with great exercises. With the back-end part, there were hardly any exercises. It is more like watching the lectures and coding along. So the first part, 75% of the course is way better. The last part could be improved. There should be more exercises in the back-end part too. Also, ES6 features are added just at the end and are not used throughout the course. And they are not thought by Colt. His friend Eli is teaching the ES6 features. It makes a little confusing, although Ellie does a good job too. But anyways, this course will help you understand the complete web development process. You'll learn front-end and back-end technologies and languages. It will make you motivated and hungry for more. And that is where you want to be if you want to be a web developer. You can check out my Learn to Code Development path and see the whole web technology stack for 2020. I also recommend you start thinking of making your own projects. It's much easier to learn when you are working on something that inspires you. You can do that right after this course. Colt will make introduction to web development an adventure. And again, the support team is excellent. Always there to answer any question. Down here, I have a link to the course. If you click on it, I will get a super small fee. I thank you for supporting me. And subscribe to my channel to follow me. If you're interested in having a mentor, a mentor that will guide you one-on-one -on -one and be there for you, you can set up a call with me. Each month, I take a few students. Maybe you could be one of them. See you soon.